So let's do a couple of proofs practicing with the parallelograms. All right, given this little symbol right here, that means parallelogram. Okay, so given that ABCD is a parallelogram, DE is congruent to FB. And DE is congruent to FB. Prove that triangle DEA is congruent to BF, triangle BFC and prove that angle one is congruent to angle two. So what always goes first in your proof? The given, okay? The given always goes first. I'm gonna try to bring this in a little bit, okay. So I'm gonna state the first given, which is that it's a parallelogram, okay? That, that creates all of these properties for us. So now that I know it's a parallelogram, I know that AD has to be congruent to BC. Okay, and that's because of, and I'll put definition of a parallelogram for this one. Definition of a parallelogram which says if it's a parallelogram then the opposite sides are congruent. Okay, just to save you some writing space here. And then the next thing I'm going to look at is angle D. Angle D must be congruent to angle B, and again, that's definition of a parallelogram. And it depends on your teacher, your professor, definition of parallelogram, or you can say opposite angles in a parallelogram are congruent. That's how I know that, okay? The next one says that DE is congruent to FB. So DE is congruent to FB. How do I know that? That is a given. That's given to me. Okay, that's my second given. So the question is, how do I go from here? Well, I can now state that these two triangles are congruent. Remember, there's five different ways we can establish congruent triangles. So you have to decide which one. And in this case, it's side, angle, side because I have two triangles here. So I can say triangle DEA is congruent to triangle BFC by side, angle, side. This is for number five, okay? For number five. DEA is congruent. Do you see the side, angle, side? I went blue to red to green. Blue to red to green in the same sequence. So that's enough to tell me that the entire set of triangles is congruent. Now that I've established that the two triangles are congruent, I know all of their other pieces are congruent, including what? Angle one and angle two must now be congruent. So angle one must be congruent to angle two, and that's by CPCTC. Corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. So what we did was we used the idea that it was a parallelogram first, that's what the little lucky charm symbol is, which then told me opposite angles, opposite sides, uh, consecutive angles are supplementary, diagonals bisect each other, it tells me all that information. So I used all of that to prove pieces of the triangles to get side angle side, and once I got side angle side, I was able to use CPCTC to establish that they were congruent. So let's look at the next proof on that page. All right, so once again, you've got your lucky charm symbol, okay? That means this is a parallelogram, which means it takes on all of those characteristics of parallelograms. Opposite sides are congruent, opposite angles are congruent, consecutive sides are supplementary, which means, that, I mean, consecutive angles are supplementary, which means they add to 180 and diagonals bisect each other, and opposite sides are parallel. All of that, just because you know it's a parallelogram. You know all that. Pretty cool, huh? I know you're sitting there going, wow, that's so cool. I can hear you through the camera. So let's look at what we're given. So obviously the first statement is the given. We're given that it's a parallelogram. So let's move to the next one. Because it's a parallelogram, I know that AB has to be congruent to what? CD. And that is because of a definition of a parallelogram, but I'm gonna write it out for this one. Opposite sides in a parallelogram are congruent. I'm gonna write it out for you this time so you can see it. That's how I know A, B, and C, D are the same. Well, the next one says, all right, well, what is A, B parallel to? Well, A, B 
is parallel to CD. How do I know that? Well, again, because of the parallelogram. Opposite sides in a parallelogram are parallel. And you can actually, for this one, write definition of a parallelogram. Real simple. Okay? So let's look at the next one. Angle CAB. Let's follow it. C A B. That's this guy. Angle CAB is congruent to, and it's going to be ACD. And that is why, well, because they're parallel, what are those? Alternate interior angles are congruent. Alternate interior angles are congruent. So I know that those two guys in green are congruent because they're alternate interior angles. Well, you can kind of see where we're going. We're trying to do the triangle proofs, right? And once again, here's your op options for triangles, proving two triangles are congruent. And remember, there's no ass in geometry, your favorite statement of the entire year. You, you just thought it was so funny when we talked about ass. There's no ass in geometry. You can't have angle side sides. So I've proven an angle for each of these two triangles and a side, right? Well, I got to get one more thing in there. So let's see what we can do. Hmm. I'm guessing this one says, let's look at angle AEB. That's this angle. What is angle AEB going to be congruent to? It's going to be congruent to CED. And the reason is, is because vertical angles, remember vertical? Vertical angles are congruent, which is the vertical angle theorem. Now look at your triangles. Do I have enough to say the two triangles are congruent? I actually do. Triangle AEB, which is my proof, is congruent to triangle CED. And how do I know that? Well, let's follow. Orange, angle, I go angle, angle, blue side. Let's see if I have the same sequence over here. Do I have orange angle, green angle, blue side? Yes, so it's angle, angle, side. And you've just proven those triangles congruent using the properties of a parallelogram.